What's going on everybody? It's Josh here, your River City Gamer, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a weapon review on the Badger CCL. Now before I start, I'd like to apologize for taking a while to get this review out. I meant to get it out sooner, but I was having difficulty getting decent PvP footage. But anyway, I don't like to create excuses for myself, so let's get right into the review. The Badger CCL is a scout rifle available for purchase at the tower from the Vanguard Quartermaster located in the tower hangar for 150 Vanguard marks and one Vanguard commendation. You must also be at Vanguard rank 3 or higher and have the Dark Below DLC in order to purchase it. Now let's take a look, closer look at the weapon to see what we're potentially buying. Stats. The rifle's damage is connected and maxes out at 331. The base stats are as follows. Rate of fire is 27, impact 61, range 77, stability 40, reload 57, and a magazine size of 14. The Badger is of the high impact low rate of fire variant of scout rifles. Aside from the poor clip size compared to other scout rifles, the guns bolsters great stock stats before modifications, but we'll get to that in a bit. The three sites available for the Badger are as follow: Red Dot, OAS, offering snapshot sight and enhanced target acquisition. The target lens offers a 0.2 which is about 20% zoom modification above to stability and a penalty to range. And range lens RLS3 offering a mid-range scope, good effective range and a recoil control. Heavy and slow. The sight gives a 0.6 zoom modification which is about 60%, a decent buff to range and a penalty to stability and reload speed. And lastly it offers uh, True Sight IS offering a flexible sight light with good rear coil control, strong target acquisition. The site does not offer really any zoom modification, but it does penalize stability and buffs reload speed just a little bit. The first two bonus upgrades is Luck in the Chamber, which allows one random bullet in the chamber to deal 33% more damage than a standard round. And the second upgrade column it has Single Point Sling, offering a bonus speed of 50% while switching between weapons and 10% in or out of aim down sights, otherwise known as ADS. Next is Send It, offering a 50% boost to range, but a penalty to magazine inventory by 30%. And lastly, Flared Magwell, offering a 100% boost to reload speed, but a penalty to stability by 10%. The second of the two bonus upgrades is Mulligan, offering a 5% chance to regain ammo directly into the magazine per shot. On paper, Badger shows great promise as a formidable primary to carry into combat. Luck in the chamber is always a welcome bonus for high impact weapons and Mulligan helps mitigate the low magazine size. As for the middle column upgrade, all three can definitely bring something beneficial to the table, albeit in different scenarios, but we'll get to that in a bit. At this point, you're probably wondering how it does in PvE. Well, the Badger's high impact sends less enemies' heads popping off in one hit while staggering those powerful enough to survive more than one round. But even though those enemies are quickly dispatched immediately thereafter, I often found the Badger quickly eating through the elemental shields, sending the enemies running away in order to save their skulls from being capped off. So yeah, the Badger is great for PvE, but what setup do I use and recommend? Well, for PvE, I prefer to run the standard site Red Dot OES for that 20% zoom increase and Flirt Magwell for the speed reload because let's face it, I'm a speed whore. I feel that Flirt Magwell is by far the superior option of the three because it fits my playstyle as a DPS role or otherwise known as damage per second. I like popping off lots of damage quick because of its low rate of fire and its low clip size. I feel that speedy reload helps mitigate that and overall buffs my damage output. The Badger's range sits an impressive 77, so I don't feel it's necessary to equip send it for that extra 50% range boost. In PvE, I never really have opportunities where I find it absolutely necessary to switch between weapons immediately as the AI is typically easy to anticipate. Well, I mean, at least it is for me. So that's the setup I run, Red Dot OAS and Flared Magwell. Overall, I love this gun for PvE. It's really just a beast of a weapon. I found myself falling for this gun as quickly as I tended to use Vision of Confluence, a scout rifle exclusive to the Vault of Glass Raid, really only available after defeating Atheon. Nightfalls aside, because of burn modifiers, I'd definitely say that the Badger CCO is a fitting upgrade for the Vision of Confluence due to the damage output maxing out at 331, while the Vision sits at 300 post DLC. I'm giving the Badger a deserved rating of 5 out of 5 for PvE. I absolutely love the scout rifle. I recommend it to any scout rifle connoisseur or anyone looking to upgrade their primer to a high impact beast of a weapon. Alright, alright, Josh. Okay, so it's amazing PvE, but how does it fare in PvP? So prior to making this review, I hardly ever used scout rifles in PvP. I mean, I was terrible at them. I mean, I didn't hate them or anything. I just, I found myself sticking to hand cannons and auto rifles. Those, those were just my bread and butter. But I gave it a shot, and alongside, you know, the bad knights, I enjoyed it. 
It wasn't the best weapon I've ever used in PvP, but it certainly wasn't terrible by any means. 9 times out of 10, I did well wielding the Badger. Now, the Badger deals 49 damage to the body and 73 damage to the head, meaning it could kill in 3 to 4 headshots depending on what you're firing at and 4 to 5 body shots. Now, it excels best at mid to long range and a more of a mid to short range type of player. As for the bonus upgrades, you'll be seeing more of a benefit from Mulligan as PvP is very fast paced and hectic with a lot of like strafing from side to side down, 8 down sights of your opponent, stuff like that. I actually never saw Luck of the Chamber bonus proc because of how quickly I was reloading or dying because PvP is just really fast paced. So I don't actually know how much it would deal as opposed to base damage. But if my math is correct, I estimate the bonus damage round to deal about 65 to the body and 95 to the head, meaning it would still take 3 to 4 shots to take down an enemy player. So in other words, you're going to see little to no benefit from this upgrade at all. But that doesn't stop it from being a great PvP weapon. All of its middle column bonuses are great for PvP. Single point sling offers a speed boost to switch between weapons, which is essential in PvP as you might find yourself in a position where you'll need to equip short range weapon like a shotgun or fusion rifle in order to quickly dispatch your foe. Send is a decent option as well. The 50% buff to range is great for maps like Bastion, First Light, and Sky Shock. Yuck. Last is Flared Magwell. Now I'm a speed freak, so this is my go-to perk with this gun. I absolutely adore speed reloading. In PvP, the quicker you are can often decide the outcome in close quarters duel. So what's my setup for PvP? You might already have guessed it by now. Red Dot OAS and Flared Magwell. Although single point sling is a close second, I tend to use that on smaller maps where it's more important to switch to shotgun or something instead of reloading. So both really are great and invaluable. Choose whatever fits your playstyle best. I personally like speed reloading, but you might like single, uh, single point sling to switch faster. So for PvP, I'm giving the Badger a 4 out of 5. Even though I couldn't mesh well with the scout rifle itself, I still don't feel that's a de like defining penalty to the overall performance of the gun. Since the patch buff scout rifles, you'll find yourself quickly downing enemy players in PvP at longer ranges than their hand cannon, auto rifles, and even sometimes post rifles. Lastly, I like to rate guns on their duality. What's duality? Well, duality to me is the weapon's ability to thrive in both the PvP and PvP environment. Because Vault Space is vastly limited at the moment for most players, I know myself included. Duality plays an important factor in determining the purchase power of a gun. I give the Badger CCO a duality rating of 5 out of 5. Being a beast in both PvP and PvE, pun intended, you'll find very few opportunities where the scout rifle is outclassed. It's a great buy and in my opinion, a must buy. I definitely recommend it to anyone in need of a great primary post Dark Below DLC. With few guns bolstering and an ability to thrive in both realms of destiny, I'd say this is one that will allow you to stand tall with a badge of honor. Well that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope you all like this new format of my weapon reviews. Of course, any and all feedback is appreciated. My name is Josh. I am University Gamer. If you like this video, like it again, like it 50 more times, comment, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.